<sighs> Good morning. Happy New Year. I'm just wandering around Pune, India, just before sunrise. It's really nice. They say it's one of the most livable cities in India. And we were in Mumbai yesterday, or actually for the whole weekend. You hear those crows? They sound so cool. Yeah, so I just figured I'd talk a little bit about my experiences. Um, yeah, Mumbai was pretty unreal. Uh, it's one of the biggest, most polluted cities on the planet, but it has the most insanely loving and spiritual vibration at the same time. And it's like it shouldn't. It's like there are so many reasons for people to be upset or complain, like if it was Americans, you know? But it's not. It's just this beauty and this simplicity. There's this profound simplicity to the Indian culture that I just adore and love. And it's like it comes from this deep knowledge of just God, of just love for God. It just seems like this incredible anchor to the entire culture is just love and longing for God. Not just love, but like longing for the divine. <clears throat> and so that just informs everything else. And yeah, there's a ton of problems, but it's like things just somehow work out. And uh, it's just amazing to witness it. Um, driving is the most terrifying thing for an American to do in Mumbai. Like, we, yeah, I mean, you, it's just a miracle that people aren't dying constantly. Because there's just no rules in the traffic. There's just, there's, I mean, traffic lanes are just kind of optional. They're just guidelines. You just kind of do what you want. And, uh... Yeah, well, look at that crow. It's cool. Cool crows here. They're just a little bit different from the crows we have in America. Very clever, very beautiful. Yeah, it's cool how, uh, you know, crows thrive in the city and they actually, like crows and vultures help to keep the city streets clean. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's funny because they're ruled by Saturn. Saturn represents like uh, sanitation and like servant like work or, you know, things like keeping thing, keeping the streets clean. Yeah, it's definitely a, like, um, there's no such, I, there's no such thing as a noise ordinance in India. <laughs> Shit's just loud whenever it wants to be. Uh, so that's kind of interesting and yeah there's definitely no such thing as personal space in India which is int very interesting as well and that kind of creates like more of these uh you know it's like something about the just the loudness and the chaos of Bombay there's horns non-stop just everything is just overwhelming your senses smells like dead things like poop right here a burning fire right there it's just insane crazy wild dog like that dog right there but like a lot more of them Funny thing is that um, actually the dogs are like the cleanest things like in the streets of Mumbai, their coats are so clean. It's like, I don't know, dogs just have that natural way of cleaning themselves. But yeah, it's just, it's been a really amazing time with all of that and kind of like it force, being in, being in that sort of environment, it sort of forces you to just surrender or kind of turn within more, you know? You just kind of can't even bother to be bothered by things anymore, you know? So that's neat. Morning.